Are you, you Bill mean, Wyrie? You mean I'm lean? Like Wyrie, like you have like some vascularity in your arms, veins showing, that kind of thing, veins in your arms? A little bit. Okay. All right. So you're probably already a high testosterone producer. So what you want to do is you want to uh, reduce the sugar intake, as I say, mm -hmm. uh, and then use sugar metabolizing nutrients like the sweeties and the B vitamins. Zinc is a wonderful way to boost testosterone, 50 milligrams a day. You're not going to get that in foods. Vitamin E can help also, 400 international units a day, and you're not going to get that in food either. And then I'd be throwing in a little DHEA. Have you heard of that? Yeah. D Throw in a little DHEA, maybe five or ten milligrams a day. Uh, see what you see if that boosts your ups your libido a little bit. Sometimes that happens. You know, you get that morning Woody. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. The DHEA will help. Uh, well, but if I have uh, uh, avocados with egg, does that disrupt the 2.0 no. or not? No, not at all. Okay. Avocados with eggs and, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine? Yeah. Not at all. Okay, so, so I just want to ask you one thing with the 2.0. It says yeah. folate and alpha E. Do, do I need, do I, I, was take, I, I was taking a mixed D also because I didn't know if I needed to do the gamma. And what is, it, it says folate in the 2.0 versus, uh, do I need to think differently from folate and folate or what? That's uh, my only other question. That's, get your, get, you, the, folate, the folic acid, the folate in the, in the supplemental form is not the best way to get your folate. It's just a way to get your basic needs met. The best way to get your folic acid and folate is from veggies. Absolutely. Okay. Make sure you're eating lots of green, leafy foliage. That's where the term folic acid comes and, from. Foliage. And what about the alpha versus mixed D? Uh, take the, if it was me, I'd be taking the mixed D with the alpha. Okay, because okay, cause the 2.0 has folate. I know. They don't use the mixed form because that's so darn expensive. Oh, okay. So I'm okay taking that. Yes. Heck yes. Okay, you answered my questions. You have Good a dynamite deal. day. Thank you. Man. Thank have you. a beautiful day yourself. Thanks okay. for calling. Okay, Larry in Oklahoma, what's up, my friend? Larry? Hello? Larry? Yeah. We got Larry? Uh, hey, Larry. I've got, can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. What's up, brother? I've got radiation treatments for colon cancer, and my question was, what could I take to help rebuild that tissue? So many things. How you doing, by the way? How you feeling? Well, relatively good. Okay, good. So did they get everything they said? Well, I'm still I'm facing surgery. Uh, you still have surgery coming up? Yes. Okay, so it's really, really, really important you start supplementing and taking care of yourself now. Not only for the cancer, but also for, to improve the prognosis of the surgery and also for recovery. So, right. so it's job number one to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program and also make sure you're eating correctly. You should be staying completely away from any pro-inflammatory foods. I mean, you don't even want to smell them. You know what I'm saying? Anything pro-inflammatory, that's gluten and grains and flour and cereal and dairy and uh, eggs, perhaps. You'll have to see some of these things, but you want to stay away from them. The less you eat, the better off you're going to be. Make sure you're liquefying your foods. Bone soup is your best friend. If you can handle it, make sure the chicken is organic and hormone-free and all that. It's your best friend. Subsist on it. Uh, and that's for anybody who's going through surgery, but especially colon issues. Coating the digestive tract with, as we were talking earlier, gummy mucilaginous substances, gelatin, hyaluronic acid, that's spelled H-Y-A-L-U-R-O-N-I-C, hyaluronic acid. Zinc is very important for the digestive tract. Aloe and noni, as we said earlier, there's a couple of amino acids that you may want to include in your supplement program that are important for rebuilding. One is called arginine. A-R-G-I-N-I-N-E, maybe a, a gram or two grams of it a day. And glutamine, not only is glutamine important for recovery, but it's also specifically important for the digestive tract. So uh, maybe, about a, maybe about five grams a day of glutamine. You want to do some research on glutamine. I, I personally love this stuff, but some, some folks will advise against it. But I, that's not my position on it. Vitamin C, how the much, basics, how much, how much maybe five grams a day. You can take more, okay. but maybe five grams a day is a good place for you to be. Um, all your Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, that goes without saying, but I'd be throwing in extra vitamin C, always important. Look into something called glutathione, G-L-U-T-A-T-H-I-O-N-E, major cancer fighter. It's your body's primary cancer fighter, and glutathione levels are depleted by radiation and by all of the chemotherapy and all the and prescription drugs and all the strategies of the medical model. Glutathione goes to work to protect you from the radiation. So the more radiation you have, the more toxic drugs you have, the more medical intervention you have, the less glutathione you're going to have. So building glutathione. Glutamine is part of it. So is N-acetylcysteine, NAC. I'd be using that. Absolutely be on selenium, the ultimate selenium. And then uh, vitamin E would probably be helpful as well. 
And then uh, there's an amino acid called glycine that you may want to think about. Uh, you'll get that in, the, in your bone soup. If you can do whey protein, that would also help you. Any kind of uh, protein foods will help you in general, but you've got to be a little bit careful with them because you can react and you don't want to have any reactions. And of course, probiotics and fermented food and celery juice, vegetable juice, uh, that goes without saying. That's for everything, but especially for the colon and for digestive issues. Okay, Larry, God bless you, man. Good luck with everything. Anything else you want to ask me? Where do you get the glutathione? Well, you do, uh, if it was me, I'd be doing intravenous glutathione. Other than that, you're going to have to build it with three major, three major supplements. Cysteine, which you'll get from N-acetylcysteine. Glutamine, which you'll get from, uh, uh, from either straight glutamine or you can get it in your bone soup. Uh, uh, bone soup contains glutamine. And pretty much all high-protein high foods are going to contain glutamine. See, what we're doing, we're building it. We're, you're building your own glutathione is what I'm saying here. Glutathione is made up of three amino acids plus selenium. Uh, uh, glutamine, and you'll get that uh, in, in supplemental form. Glycine, uh, you'll get that in your bone soup. And then also, uh, also uh, cysteine, which you'll get in the N-acetylcysteine. I'm trying to think if it was glycine is the third amino acid here, though. Let me do a quick here. Let me do a quick little, little look, -see, look -see here for you. And then uh, anything you could do to... Uh, Relax the body. Cancer is a sign of a hyped up nervous, a hyped up uh, biological system. Anything you could do to relax the body, and that includes deep breathing. In fact, hyperbaric oxygen might be something else that you want to think about. And most, uh, most hospital or many hospitals will have a uh, a uh, uh, hyperbaric oxygen chamber that you can use. And you may want to ask your uh, physician. Okay. So glutamine, cysteine, glycine, and selenium. That's how you're going to build your uh, glutathione. Okay, All right, I'm going to move on. God bless you, my friend. I hope everything works out for you. Let's see if I can get one more call in. Andre in California. What's up, bro? Andre? Yes, good morning, Ben. Yes, hey, good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. What's going on? Um, I'm having a problem with my thyroid. I'm uh, hyper -thyroidism. Hyperthyroid? Yes, and okay. uh, I've been taking uh, syn Syntroid for the last maybe three years. Wait a minute. Hypothyroid no or low thyroid function or too high? Too high. Okay, you got to calm the body down. Uh, did they tell you Graves' disease? No. Did they mention Graves' disease to you? No. What okay. is that? It's an autoimmune condition of the thyroid where the thyroid just freaks out. Your thyroid's freaking out, so you got to calm the body down. Nutritional supplementation is definitely going to help. Slow, deep breathing will definitely help. All the strategies we talk about for activating the paras parasympathetic nervous system. I only got about 20 seconds left. So, Andre, if you can call me back tomorrow, I'll be glad to help you. There's lots you could do. Lots, lots, lots. If you want to do something quickly, just relax the body. Relax, people. R-E-L-A-X, as, as Aaron Rodgers said. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening. We'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information on the Bright Side. Take care, everybody.